Good afternoon, everybody. It's Angelo. We got another awesome video. I don't know if you guys can tell by the background, but yes, we are at the auction house. We are here on Friday, day early. We're going to preview everything like we do every week. The auction is this Saturday. Me and Sarah are probably going to come by, depending on what they have here. I just showed up, so I'll give you guys a quick look at all the cool stuff. Looks like there's some new consignment that came in, and then they have a little bit left over from last week's lot. Looks like it's a lot of Marvel, some DC, so let's get into the video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to leave a comment and drop a like, all right? So let's walk on over to the rest of the lot from last week. Here we have some really cool Marvel Tales books. There's Marvel Tales issue 27. These are those thicker books, more pages in them. Beautiful covers on these though. Issue 26, 22 with the Green Goblin. Me and Sarah saw the new Spider-Man movie last night. Loved it. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of it. Here's issue 25. And issue 15, I don't think there's anything super cool in here. You know, the conditions, these books are a little beat up for sure. Here we got Creatures on the Loose. I believe this was left over from last week. They had the first um, King Cole, I believe. So here's issue 18, 17, 16, 13. Yeah, here you go right here. This is the first appearance of King Cole. Nice little comic book. And then we got some really nice Marvel 2-in-1 few copies of these books on my eBay right now. You got some Power Man and Iron Fist. Beautiful covers. Here's the She-Hulk. You have Ant-Man on issue 87. Coming down mm -hmm. here, we got The Thing and Spider-Man. Really nice classic cover right there. And then they have issue 92. Over here, we got some really nice Thor. This is the Mighty Thor, 381. There's 389, 382, 383. Looks like it's a nice little run for sure. I'm not too familiar with anything in here. Doesn't look like they got any uh, cool books. No Beta Ray Bill action or anything. I think Beta Ray Bill first appeared in the Mighty Thor, right? Comment down below, let me know if I'm wrong on that. I think this probably whole table will get sold together. Here they have the rest of the Thangor. This is from last week. They have issue 22, 24, 28, 26, 25, and 23. We have issue nine along with issue seven, issue six. Oh, that's a pretty cool cover on issue six. There's issue three. And then after that, we have the Luke Cage. This is issue seven from Power Man. And then it does have the giant size. Doesn't look like there's any serious keys or anything. And then over here is more Marvel Tales without the covers. So it looks like this is issue 10. We have issue 11. And then this is issue 23. So definitely a nice table. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think it's all gonna go for. We're gonna go check out the other table right now. All right, so here is the other table. Give you guys a quick overview of everything. Lots of cool books. This is a new batch of books. As you guys can tell, it looks like they were stored in some sort of a binder. So no bags and boards on these, but they do have some really cool Spider-Man stuff. So we'll get started. Over here, we got some nice Beavis and Butthead. I actually have this whole entire run. Also, they do have number one. Here's issue six. This is a nice little lot right here. Beavis and Butthead's worth a couple bucks. Yeah, it looks like they have a nice little run of it over here. So the uh, extra copy of issue one. This right here is worth probably $50, I would say at least. Coming down here, we got some really nice Fantastic Four stuff. Not the nicest of condition, but you gotta love those old school Fantastic Four covers. This is issue 168. Luke Cage on the front there. And then they have issue 167. These are a little bit beat up. You guys can see the spine there. Here they got really nice X-Men 30, Sugar and Spike, issue 62, nice little 12 cent DC. Looks like they got a nice little bundle of some Marvel premiere. Here's issue 38 featuring Weird World. Oh, this is really cool too. Weird Mystery Tales, issue six, nice DC stuff. Here's Champions issue 16. Cool Magneto cover on there for sure. And then we got some John Carter action. Nothing too cool yet. Coming over here to some Golden Key. We got some Boris Karlov. Looks like some Jonah Hex up there. Over here we got Kazar. Some Vertigo independent stuff. Here we go, some Werewolf by Night. Let's see if they got issue 32. <laughs> There's 19, 6, 4, 8. These are really beat up too. I don't know how good you guys can see inside of there, but nothing too crazy. I have a whole bunch of Werewolf by Night issues. That's a cool cover with Dracula. 
Coming on up, we got some more champions, it looks like. This is issue eight, but really, really worn down. Here's some more golden keys, some house of uh, mystery. And over here is some really nice 12 cent Charlton. Oh, there you go. Some blue beetle number three. This is interesting. Modern comics, Teen confession, the great ape, Popeye, underdog, Daffy. These Dell comics can be worth a couple bucks, but these are a little beat up. Flash, Ghost, Journey into Mystery, issue seven. Okay, that's pretty cool. Looks like it's a bunch of, oh, here's a cool one too. 10 cent US Marine, some Lone Ranger. Here's some Superboy. Oh, here we go, really cool right here. This is the stuff I'm looking for. Some Incredible Hulk, issue 209. Conan the Barbarian. Oh, here you go, some Peacemaker action. The John Cena show is coming on HBO Max soon. Here's some more Marvel 2-in-1. Here's Thor on Marvel 2-in-1. There's some DC stuff, some more Golden Key. I don't have too much luck with Golden Key, but Charlton comics are different. You know, Charlton stuff's a little older sometimes, a little more collectible. Here's a cool cover too, for sure, with a bunch of uh, monsters on it. Coming on down, we got some nice 12 cent Superboy. This is issue 96. Some more Charlton. Chamber of Darkness issue one. Real beat up though, unfortunately. Here's a real nice one right here. Team Titans, the original team. This is issue 33, nice 15 center. And here we have some Haunted number four. Definitely some cool stuff. Just wish they were in a little better shape. So that's that pile. Now we're gonna come on down to the goodies. So we got some Marvel Tales starring Spider-Man. This is issue 53. Superman, some more Superman. This is from 1965. Here's another cool Superman cover. And then some Justice League. And then over here, this is really cool also. Some amazing Spider-Man action. We got issue 141 coming on over. Oh, really cool Marvel Tales books for sure. That's issue 60 right there. Really cool Prowler cover. Sorry for the glare again. Here's issue 72. All right, now we're talking. Got some Spider-Man. The Amazing Spider-Man 131. Oh, really cool cover right there with Aunt May. There's Marvel Tales Spider-Man with Mysterio. Here's another one, The Amazing Spider-Man 137. Really cool cover right there. Oh, look at that, guys. Look what we just found. Wow. All right, see, this is why it's good to know your comics. We just found, I believe, the second appearance of the Punisher. This is Amazing Spider-Man 135. This is a fairly expensive book. Looks to be in really decent shape, too. And then underneath that, we have 144. So, all right, we're definitely interested in this table. I'm hoping they kind of sell everything together. So that's all the cool Spider-Man stuff they had. Now we're gonna come on over to some Justice League International. I don't think there's anything too crazy in Justice League International. Here's some more Justice League International. Looks like it goes all the way through. Looks like they have a nice run of it over here. Here's some regular Justice League. Here's some more Justice League. This is issue 212. Some Guy Gardner on the cover of issue 63. Nothing super old. Here's a cool little Whitman variant. A little Justice League Whitman action. That's probably looking like it. Doesn't seem like there's too much crazy stuff. Last week's X-Men stuff was really nice. Boom, some Star Wars. Oh, man, look at that cover, though. This is a first print Star Wars number four, but the cover's ripped up. New stand copy. Here we got some Captain Marvel, issue 24. This is a cool book for sure. Almost missed this, though. Here we go, some The Deadly Hands of Kung Fu, issue 26. Really cool Bruce Lee cover right there for sure. And then here is issue 14. And now that's going to be it. All right, guys, so that looks like all the books they're gonna have for this week's sale. Comment down below and let me know what you think of everything. I'm definitely interested in this consignment table because of the 135 we just found, and there are some cooler, older um, Charlton comics. I did find that Blue Beetle and a couple others. The other table is interesting also, but always depends on the price that this stuff goes for. It's been getting real busy around here, so who knows, might not get it for a great price, but hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right, we'll bring you back tomorrow with Sarah when we come back. And all right, guys, we'll see you then.
All right, guys, we just got to the auction house. What's going on, everybody? We're back. We are heading in right now. We're gonna go check out the comics. They've probably already started the auction on the other items. Yeah, we're pretty excited right now. We don't think we're probably gonna get too much luck today, unfortunately. There's been a lot of people that have been showing up and they only have those two tables available. So it's just gonna be the two different auctions. The only table I'm really interested in is the one with the Punisher stuff on it. And there were a couple other older books, which were kind of interesting, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully we'll be able to get it for a good deal. If not. Hope you guys enjoy the video still. All right, guys, we're gonna bring you in. Hello. All right, got our number. We are gonna head in. Let's see what's going on. Here we go. Here's the pile. So let's just make sure everything's still here. There it is. There it is. So it's still here. Decent shape. Let's see if we can come home with it. All right, we got this really cool book right here. I wasn't sure if it was a first print or not, but apparently this is worth a couple bucks. Piece maker number one, collector's edition. Really cool book. So this definitely adds some value to the table. There we go. All right, guys. We did it. Woohoo. We actually made it there just in time for them to auction off the table and we got it for exactly what Angelo's limit was. Yeah, 200 bucks. I'm pretty excited. We'll show you guys quickly. I haven't organized it all exactly, but we went through it yesterday. I'll show you guys some of the keys though. So I'm pretty excited about this one. It is a reprint, but it's worth roughly anywhere from like 75 to $100 depending on the condition. And then I also found this over here. The Beavis and Butthead run is pretty cool. It does have a duplicate of issue one right here. So this right here is a couple bucks also. I have sold this in the past, so shouldn't be too hard. There's lots of Charlton. So if you guys are interested in Charlton, older comics, I have a whole bunch. They're not in the nicest condition, but pretty cool stuff still. And then here's another little batch of some other cool books. Here's some Werewolf by Night. So this book and then the Peacemaker with the Beavis and Butthead, I'm pretty sure it pays everything off. Nice inventory for the eBay shop. If you guys are not aware, we got some pretty cool stuff on our eBay right now. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you next time. All right guys, have a great day. Bye.